size and punching power. Is, is that going to be the factor? Your size factor? and strength. Is that, is that what you're banking on? Banking. Oh, if I'm banking. I got you. Well, you know what? Um, no, my ability. My ability is basically what it is. Is is I'm not banking on size and strength. No. And if I would did that, I probably would took some steroids or something. But nah. No, I'm not banging on that at all, man. It's actually my ability uh, that I bring to the table and all my experience. That's, that's what it is. I've been fighting for 17 years now. So, is size. That, is that to say you're going to be boxing with the boxer then? Uh, yeah, there's going to be some boxing going on. There's going to be some boxing going on, absolutely. You have a deep faith to, that has been a springboard for you in a big part of your life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, I, I was brought up, I was brought up uh, as a believer and. Uh, and I will continue as a believer. Uh, my my faith and everything. What are you saying? My breath stinks or something? No, no. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <the same. laughs> yeah. Michael, no disrespect here, but do you are you taking Adamic lightly? Being the fact that because no, I hear you mentioning, no, I hear I'm you taking a lightly. He's coming into your league. He's you're the bigger guy, obviously. You know. What, what does the poster say? The challenge. Right? Big challenge. Who is that big challenge for? I understand that. So you're not taking him lightly. Exactly. I have one more question. We predict that Adamek will attempt to avoid fighting you from a distance. What tactic you will implement against Adamek? Punching from a distance or trade close power shots? Which one would I implement more the distance or a short? Basically, it's going to be an outside and an inside game. If you want to stay outside, uh, that's 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 gonna be hard because I'm I'm the guy with the longer reach for him. That's gonna be hard for him because I'm the guy with the longer reach. If you want to go inside, I'm the guy with the bigger hands and the bigger and stronger power. So you have to choose your poison. You know which one you want to use. So no, no, it, it's um, I'm, I will utilize both tools, outside and inside. Do you feel you have something to prove in this fight? No, nothing to prove, man. Basically, this is this is my continue my continued success, my ability of progressing. Are you planning to use? I mean, you're the, obviously the bigger guy in this fight. Between, was, are you going to use your height and your you know to your advantage? Yeah, yeah, that's 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 my goal. That's my goal to use my height and, and capitalize off the things that uh that I've been God gifted with. So uh, those that that's my uh, that's my goal. Definitely use my height. Um, and also my ability, like, like if he comes in, and then I, I got some other tools in the shed too, so I'm going to use everything. You've seen footage on Adamek, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Is there anything that impresses you about this guy? Only thing I can say, I, well, like I told the reporters, what impressed me about him, that he took that, you have to, you have to have some type of confidence about yourself to step up to the next level. You know what I'm saying? I think one of the, one of the things that made him son step up to the next level is that he said, I'm, I'm faster than most heavyweights. You know what I'm saying? So I can just outpoint them. I can just outpoint them and, and win a fight and run. I'll point and run. I'll point and run. So um, that's one of the things, his, his courageous attitude to, to step up to the plate like that. And probably the second thing is that um, he, has, he has decent speed. He has decent speed. So that's, that's, that's about it. That's about it. But I, I, but I also see some loopholes as well. Adamek going into the Ariola fight, a lot of people underestimated. They didn't think that he could, you know, beat Ariola due to the size and the power. You know, do you think that he could take your punch? Are you trying to say Chris Ariola punch harder than me? <laughs> oh man, that's tough. Well, he can take his punches. I, I got more knockouts than Chris Ariola got more fights. Do you know that? Ariola is regarded as a big puncher. Yeah. I have more knockouts okay. than Ariola got more fights. I got how many knockouts I got? Do you know? How many knockouts do you have? Yeah, I got like, like 30, 34, 35 knockouts. Mike, good, good to see you after uh, all these years. Uh, I got like 30, 34 knockouts. So, not to, not to take anything away from Ariola. A punch is a puncher, man. Anything over 200 pounds, you can knock somebody out. Uh, but, you know, in, in regards of comparison, I, you can't compare me with Ariola. You can't. Of all your fights, what do you what do you consider to be your finest, sharpest, best performance of your career? Wow, you know what? Um, man, I I, I, I um, 
Man, you know, I I can say this. I had a really, I had a good, uh, I was having a good round with, uh, uh, what's up, babe? I was having a good round with, uh, what's the good name? Galata. First round, then he caught me. And then again, what happened, that fight, at the end of that fight, it brought out the best in me. You know what I mean? So my persistence, my just determination, desire, everything, it just poured out. It just kept pouring out every round and round. I broke his, I broke his spirit. I broke his will. And uh, that's what I'm in the business of doing, baby. Breaking spirits. In your last fight, a lot of people haven't seen you against uh, Kevin Burnett, who went uh, 10 tough rounds with Solis. You took him out in one round. How did you feel on that? Well, I knew that. I'll be honest with you. I already knew I'm a pro. You know what I'm saying? When you're a pro, you do certain things. With your living, with everything, with your career, everything. You just do certain things. And you kind of know a person who's not a pro.